So yeah, welcome back to another video guys. So yeah, today we're going to be working on the Clio again. Um, we had a little bit of bad news, so we, like I said before, I was trying to get the car ready for an MOT. And we have the results. So yeah, over the last few weekends I've been trying to get the car ready for a French car show at Donington this year which is in a week's time so this is the weekend I'm filming this the weekend before and the MOT was a few days ago so yeah so we got the um, car in for MOT and this is what we're looking at basically so I've got to go through the list and go through it methodically and I it did surprise me and throw me off quite a bit because this list is well not what I expected really so um, yeah, so we're going to go through this list, uh, it's going to take a little while, but the car won't be going to French Car Show, uh, unless a miracle happens, but anyway, yeah, so we've got to do the main brakes, which, um, it has new brake pads and discs, so I, I was a bit shocked why that happened, but the only thing I can think of is it's the caliper, so the car is going to be going up on axle stands, so I've got four axle stands there at my feet and yeah get this car up on axle stands take the wheels off take the uh, calipers off and rebuild them if we can find the rebuild kits um, or if not just clean them up and see what we can do with them basically uh, parking brake uh, is no good so new handbrake cables they need to be ordered so we can get those that's not a problem brakes imbalanced across uh, rear axle so one of the pistons is probably getting sticky on the things, but again, that's covered in the first one. So that should be done with a real rebuild kit. Main beam telltale not working right now. This one's a bit odd because that switch is working because underneath it, you can see headlamp switch faulty. Now I know that switch works and um, I'm a bit miffed to that. So I'm gonna try that again in a bit. The only thing I can think of is the main beam switch part of it doesn't come on with the dip beams it comes on with the side light beams so i'm a bit like confused with that but i didn't i haven't been able to look into it properly yet but we'll have a look into it front position lamps not working near side um so a bulb basically that's i did all the bulbs i, I don't understand why that's not working so yeah we'll check that it's probably just a funny one Rear fog lamp obviously incorrectly positioned. Now, I don't understand that one either, but again, I put all the correct bulbs in the rear cluster before it went, tested it, indicators, brakes, uh, and the parking brake and everything like that is was working, so I don't understand that one. Uh, headlamp aimed too low, which uh, I expected that one anyway, but I thought they might just uh, be kind and actually correct it for me. But obviously not because it's had a new set of headlights on it so uh, and uh, this one's a bit weird number nine headlamp insecure offside that's bolted down exactly the same as the right hand side so again I'm a bit confused to that one but we'll have a look at it the emissions now I know that one's a bit funny because it's got four years old fuel in it so I have put some new fuel in it if anyone's gonna say that before you put in the comments it has got half a tank of new fuel in it, and I did put some Red X in it to try and clean the system out. Um, <clears throat> the only thing we can do, we can give the car full service as well. That might give it a little bit of a bit of a help. New spark plugs, fuel filter, the lot. Um, suspension arm has excessive play in, uh, in a ball joint near side front lower. Um, CV joint, so again, we're going to be tackling the front suspension, that's why I want to get up on the uh, the axle stand, so I can rip all the front hub, uh, the front hub apart, and I can um, also do some bits that are down here on the advisory as well for the, um, the anti-roll bar linkage. Uh, so yeah, we'll do the CV joint, we've got a fuel hose that's insecure as well. Uh, some some uh, on the off side of the front upper engine bay area. I know about that one. That's a bit bit of a funny thing to fail it on. It's not insecure. It's rooted where it should be. But I don't understand that one. But again, yeah, and that's it. That's so that's all the fails. Then we have got some 
miners there, but like brake, the rear brake hoses on both sides apparently are deteriorated. So again, another reason to get the car on axle stands. So everything's pointing at getting this car at axle stands, basically. So this car can go up on axle stands. Axle stands. I'll just keep repeating it. Axle stands. Um, yeah, get it up. Get it up in the air. Get it lifted. Take the wheels off on both on all the corners, so I can work on all four corners. Calipers off. Hubs off. Um, anti roll bar off. And I don't think we need to take any more other than the caliper off this on the rears. But yeah, take all that off basically. Um, either binds, oh, that depends what I want to do. I, I want to buy some power flex bushes for the car, but that is like another 200 odd pound for this car to do. Um, doesn't really need them, the car feels stiff enough with the coilovers on it and the standard bushes are like five or six pounds so it's either i spend 200 pound or about 11 pound so i'll probably probably just go with that to be honest um and yeah and then we'll we'll definitely buy some i think they're hell brake lines so we'll get hell brake lines for all, all rounds we'll just do the lot and we're gonna do both wishbone joints uh, and the anti roll bar links as well we're just going to replace all of it so they've got no excuse to fail it on anything else the next time and then we can hopefully get to actually enjoy this car so yeah let's crack on so yeah again get it on the axle stands get it jacked up take the wheels off and uh, start stripping stuff off so yeah let's get on with it right there we go guys so yeah got it all on the axle stands so that's given me a lot more room to work with the car and get it up in the air and then I've got all the wheels all loosened off at the minute so um, yeah just taking all the lug nuts off at the minute and uh, yeah and get cracking on trying to take these brakes apart stubborn right, there we go. okay guys so yeah um, basically got the car up on the stands like I said before and um, yeah so we're working through the rear brake setup and we've got the rear caliper off so what I need to do is wind the piston out and get these seals off but I need a, uh, a brake bleed kit so I can uh, get all the fluid out and that doesn't go all over the floor and uh, yeah I don't have one of those at hand I've uh, got obviously the caliper off well the um, brake holder and uh, yeah obviously that's the caliper and uh, yeah, like I say, I've just got to get that off, uh, bleed the brakes, and get all the fluid out. But like I say, I don't have that out at the minute. But um, so we're kind of stuck at the minute with that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, really. Like, so I'll get the same done the other side. Um, 
and get that all ready. So I'm going to try and do as much as I can to try and actually get it all ready for um, when I get the kit. And then we can uh, bleed the brakes. We can do the front. We can do the start at the front as well. Get that sort of pulled apart because um, this car's not obviously going anywhere for a little while to get that list for it. But we got one thing ticked off today, <laughs> thankfully. So we've got the uh, the easiest one done. We've got the uh, headlight uh, rebolted down. That was definitely bolted down. I felt like someone's been tampering with the car a little bit, but. Hey ho, it's one of them. Um, it's just so I won't be taking it to that same garage, that's for sure. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, we'll get that done um, and uh, slowly work our way through the list. But, um, that's it for today, guys. Sorry if the video wasn't very entertaining, but there's only so much you can do on these things. Like, if any of you guys like are big into your projects, you'll know there's always something that blocks you in a way, a part or a tool that you need or just something. There's always a hurdle when coming along to these sort of things and uh, yeah, we met our first hurdle. So, but we'll get around it. It's a nice easy fix. It's just a time thing, isn't it? So, that's, that's not an issue. So, but yeah, if you like the video guys, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see more videos on the uh, the Clio basically there's gonna be a lot more coming up and uh, hopefully we can get it ready um, I'm aiming for at least the next couple of m months or so to literally go through the car and buy all the parts as well so whatever's broken like the bushes up front uh, the wishbones and the um, anti-roll bar bushes um, if the budget allows it then we'll be upgrading those to powerflex bushes uh, like I say, the held braided lines, we'll be getting those on, and um, we've got Brembo brake, calip uh, Brem Brembo brake pads and discs up front as well, so we can put them on. Um, and that's about it, really. We need to get the lug conversions taken off, because I'm not a big fan of them. They're a little bit ghetto from when they were put on, so I'm just putting original uh, black stub bolts on, so they can be put on the front, because I've done the rears. But the fronts didn't come out at first because the calipers were seized, so we have to uh, loosen them up and get them off with the um, the impact gun and get those off. But yeah, we've got those to come, um, and that's about it really. The only other thing we've got to do, uh, typically my welder packed up, as you know from one of the other videos if you watched it. The I don't know if you can see that up there. Well, basically, that part there. If you can see it without me blocking the light, that part there is the rear, I don't know what you'd call it, rear boot, chassis, floor, pan, whatever you want to call it, this part here, um, which the rear chassis leg that goes along there. So yeah, it's all good, all good there. And as soon as you come to the rear of the car, we've um, got a nice gaping hole basically. So yeah, the it's not exactly bolted down properly there but it's held in nice and tight but like I say we will need to at some point get that rear chassis leg all welded up and cleared up which ain't a problem I can do that it's not an issue it's just getting all this this is all uh, the reserve fuel tank and then this is the filler neck coming up all the way up here as well so obviously we have to be very careful with welding around fuel and fuel vapors um, and obviously where it is it's very tight spot to try and get in there this, these are believe it or not all fuel lines so I don't know why it's absolutely blitzed in there's like four lines there bit of an, a weird one I've never really seen it before but hey ho that's what you get on these sort of cars so yeah so hopefully we can get that sorted out at some point um, we've got the gas coil over strut there for the, uh, the rear boot strut the rear um, suspension strut and uh, yeah so like I say guys that's it for now and uh, yeah don't forget to uh, subscribe and we'll see you on the next video cheers guys